Today we're talking about the sensorial center in a Montessori classroom. And um, I am going to show you a awesome product. And it's called the Cylinder Blocks by Marvel Education. So the Cylinder Blocks, this one product, actually is two products in Montessori. So the first one is called the Knobbed Cylinders. This is what they look like and they're all natural wood and they have a little knob on each one of the cylinders. And the cylinders are different measurements um, and, and have different principles it's teaching. And so um, basically there are four blocks and one uh, which decreases in diameter and remains constant in height. Block two, it um, decreases in diameter and height. Block three, decreases in diameter and increases in height. And then the fourth, the cylinders remain constant in diameter and decrease in height. So it's a little complicated. You can kind of zoom in and take a look at that. This is what they look like. And so this represents that same principle. It does not have knobs on it. This has, this block has a groove all the way through. So you can pinch it. The same thing that you would do with the knob on top is the child would be uh, growing their fine motor skills by pinching. And you can do that because of the way this has been manufactured. It has this long groove. And so it actually takes the place of that. It's easily stored because there are not knobs on the top. And the same product, when you take the cylinders out and put them in a basket or a box, they become the knobless cylinders like this. So these are the same principles, but one has knobs and one does not. And this product fulfills both of those principles. So in this one product here, you are getting all of this Montessori equipment, uh, the principles of it. And so I highly recommend it. Again, it's called the Cylinder Blocks by Marvel Education Company. And um, I've kind of forgotten how much it was, maybe $40 or something like that, $45, but well worth it and a lot cheaper than, than buying all of this. So you would just need a box or a basket to put these in and take the cylinder away and you have the Nobla cylinders. So, okay, so how you would present this is one at a time. So I'm gonna take these away and start with this one here. And so how you would do your presentation with a child on your right side, you would talk about this as the cylinder block and you're, you're going to give a lesson. So you would take these and then you can randomly place them places. So you randomly place them and you can take your finger and feel inside the hole how deep it is, how wide it is, and then your finger can't go in these. But you want to teach them how to self-correct and how to figure it out by themselves. It's actually a good pleasant feeling. It's very smooth in there. I'm going to find the largest cylinder. The largest cylinder. And then you would feel the cylinder, and then you show how level it is. The next largest cylinder. This one's the next largest cylinder. The next largest cylinder. Just show them how it's even on top. The next largest cylinder. The next. 
Flex, largest cylinder. The next largest cylinder. Now, throughout the course of you giving the lesson, if you would like, often the child will make a mistake. And then, you know, they'll go along and they'll be like, oh, something's not right. Do not interrupt this process. Let them figure it out on their own because they saw you give a lesson and everything works. So you do a perfect lesson. And then if this happens, they should be able to figure it out again. Okay. And that is the first cylinder block. And in the next video, I will cover the other three cylinder blocks.